pretty well tonight, uh, Pickett. He's coming straight off the field. And getting attention from the trainer at the moment. Tony Durkin will bring us up to date on that in a moment. He goes back now to docking. They've kicked on the fourth tackle, the Broncos. But they're giving this guy all room to move. And he will open you up. And he's done just that. And he's just turned defence straight back into attack. Yeah, Brett Lamanna was a kick. Playing his... Uh... Seventh match, I think he told me, for the Sharks today. And Docking makes a break, and Docking's gone inside the 22 line. He's very close. He's over. Jonathan Docking has gone all the way. Well, we were just talking about him playing in the front line in defence, but uh, he's blitzed them in this little passage of attack. I didn't think there was anywhere in the world he could get through all of this, uh, all of this defence from Balmain, but he went around them and made them. He made them look second rate, to put it quite bluntly. There were some puerile attempts to tackle him. He got through four of them. But there he is again. It wasn't an, as if the holes were there. It was purely a case of docking, created, create, creating them. He went through tackle after tackle here and left Balmain players strewn in his wake, and some of them were very good defenders. We can see here he finally had to fight his way over. He's had the ball himself. He's been extremely dangerous. Wakefield folding from one side to the other, picking up Docking back in the middle of the ground, and the little fellow takes it inside the 22 line and uh, plays it back to David Hatch. Across it goes to Russell. Now it's with Carney holding up the pass for Sorensen. Sorensen turns it back for Carney. Carney gets a pass away for Quinn. Quinn the Hatch. Hatch dummies to Russell. Now he gives it to him. Docking's with him. Russell goes himself. Oh, he said it's a try. Docking. Docking has scored. Oh, that's a great piece of football by these two. Cronulla. I thought uh, Mick Stone was going to have to give a penalty to Cronulla when Russell appeared to be tackled after kicking the ball, but Docking played to the whistle, he pursued his teammate's kick and was able to come up with a try nevertheless. It was a beautiful piece of football for Cronulla Sutherland. Sorensen got it to Carney, Carney to Graham Quinn, then it went to David Hatch, threw the dummy, picked up Russell, watch this kick by Russell and watch the tackles. Here it is now. I thought he was um, interfered with, but Mick Stone said no, play on, and docking, he persevered and came up with the four points. Well, the Balmain defence was absolutely shot to pieces, and when Russell elected to kick the ball, I thought that referee Stone might have given the penalty for the uh, for the tackle after the kick, but it was a very good refereeing because he played the advantage here, and of course that uh, that was what caused Cronulla to come up with a try, with docking raced through after it, a race with Petherbridge for the ball, he got there first docking. He's a giant of a man. Cronulla's ball, out to Speechley, on a docking, and docking's in for the try. Well, like read by Ron Quinn and also Michael Speechley, two of the consistent players for the Sharks this afternoon. And nice hole for Jonathan Docking to find himself. Quinn and Speechley have tried hard all day, but they've been playing behind a forward pack that's certainly been dominated by the, the Canberra Raiders. Field for Wakefield, Hillier backs up, Hilly has gone down to the 10 metre line, gets a pass to Docking, Docking will score! 6-6. Cronulla are going to the right for Ellison in 23. Into a little opening. Back for Docking. Backing up. Away to the corner. He'll score. Little Jonathan Docking is in to score again. Well, he hangs around like a driver's dog, little Jonathan Docking. <laughs> and he waits for the scraps to come his way but then when you come in contact with a man like Mark Ellison who is a proven ball player something's bound to come your way and it did for Jonathan what angle to drive him over the sideline that was the ball that, that made the try all possible from Mark Ellison sure it was aided and abetted by some some fall off defence or some fragile stuff but on the positive, it was a, a very good pass from Mark Ellison that put Jonathan... There's the kick across field, taken by Pram. Andrew Eddinghausen gets it, gets a pass away to, to uh, Sean Wilson and on a docking. And docking scores. Well done, Eddinghausen. He picked the ball up there.
realised there was a pass. Seen Watson took the uh, long ball. He found himself with open space. And as he was going down, he manages to look back inside for Docking. And Docking fights back for the Sharks. And they certainly started this game in a sloppy manner. Sloppy around the rucks. But the last set of six tackles, they've finally started to put it together. That was the line ball decision for Kevin Roberts. Eddinghausen was on the spot. So was Seen Watson. The ball was meant to go out wider. He was able to stand in the tackle. And Jonathan Docking having a busy weekend at fullback. Yes, a great performance and uh, a try with an element of luck about it, but uh, they all count. Coming off the upright, all of a sudden, expected play is upset, but here goes Porter. Mo and uh, Michael Porter up over the halfway, he's got it away. That's docking, he's got Eddinghausen in support. Eddinghausen racing away and Eddinghausen will score. First try of the afternoon, started by Michael Porter and finished off by docking and then Eddinghausen just doing the last little bit to put Cronulla in front by eight points to nil. <laughs> now let's see what he does here he's got away from uh, docking he's got away from the youngster there as he comes up to the quarter line puts it through the race is on between Eddinghausen and, La and uh, Hasler and Eddinghausen plucked that out of the air and scored underneath the post especially got to grab a kick in this will be a chase and it's a try to docking I believe Yes, he was the man that came up with that try. We'll see it again. The kick through by Speechley. The chase is on. We will see. And okay. Yeah, well, certainly, yeah, that was the first time we played Brisbane, and uh, the papers are writing it up pretty big during the week and that, and uh, played a lot of big names, and, and really, we, we just wanted to... The second try gave the Sharks a handy 10-0 lead, as Docking and Hatch did the early lead-up work before big winger Seen Watson crossed for the four-pointer. Campaign that promised so much early in the season, and then of course they faltered. Here's Docking, superb play. Davidson goes in. The shark attack tells the story, and the set. Well, he's had a field day today. He's looked like Artie Beaton and Steve Roach combined. Jonathan Docking has fed off the passes all day. John Davidson in good support. Blind side, oh, here's Beachley. Docking's there as well. Docking's in a hole. Docking's over the quarter line. Docking, Docking caught from behind, but he's there, yes! Make a cry! Jonathan Docking! Superb football by Cronulla just to take full advantage. of pit pass inside and straight through the hole and can open up and then Docking just had too much pace for them. They couldn't get to him from that point. Blake Greg, magnificent coming across, he got to him, and did he lose the ball over the line? Great pass from Speechley, he drew in two, and that opened up the hole on the inside, docking flying right through, Blake comes at him, let's see if he gets the ball down alright, I'd say so.